In this video, I'm gonna show you a secret little adjustment that you can do out of the dollar three two six that is going to make this defense by far the best defense in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Also, if you wanna learn my entire dollar three two six defense, I have a full ebook on it available over at my Patreon membership. So if you've not joined the Patreon yet, I would really encourage you to consider doing that. There's a link in the description below that you can click that will take you right over to the membership page. For just $10 a month, you're going to get immediate access to every offensive and defensive ebook that I have. And uh, what I wanted to talk to you today about is the um, the dollar three two six and why uh, this 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 formation is so powerful. So, um, what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna create uh, a really unique concept. We're gonna come out in the safeties package. So you see here at the bottom right hand corner of your, your or the bottom left hand corner of your screen, I can flip this right joystick and I can go into all these different packages. And the package I wanted to touch on today is the safeties package. So uh, we're just gonna come out in a standard cover two. And what you're gonna notice here is, actually one second, let me show you one other thing with this uh, real quick. Let me show you my coaching adjustments. For your coaching adjustments, whenever you run dollar this year, um, it's very advantageous for you to be a baseline defense. The defense significantly uh, more effective if you use a base alignment. Uh, for ball and air defense, we're going to put it on play ball. Auto flip, you can turn that on or off. It's up to you. Option defense on conservative. And then zone drop. So we've got our flats on 30, our curl flats on 10, and our hook curls are on 5. Okay? So we're just going to come out. You could come out in DB fire 2 if you want, um, or you could come out in cover 2. It's up to you. Um, but I'm going to primarily talk about coverage in this video. Uh, we talk about the pressure a little bit more in our ebook. Uh, but I want to show you something. So um, if I were to just kind of press this defense, I want to show you some additional adjustments that we just were able to create. What you're going to see here is we can create what I would argue is the most effective cover three style coverage in this game. And what it is, is it is a outside thirded kind of cloud coverage. Um, so what we're going to do here, you see uh, on my uh, cornerback here that's in the slot, I can put him in an outside third to the left side. So as you see here, now I can have that 30 yard cloud and then I can have this guy in an outside third and you'll be surprised at how well that does against different things like seam wheels and stuff like that. Then what I can do over here on this side here, you're gonna see that I have kind of standard adjustments for curse. So I'm gonna put him into a seam flat. I've got my 30 yard cloud to Trayvon Diggs. And then when I get back to these safeties, Again, notice that I can put them in outside third zones. So, for example, Wilson here, I can put him in an outside third to the right side of the screen. That's going to take away any kind of bunch beaters, bunch bombs. There's really no bomb for this. It's going to take away verticals. Um, it's just going to take away a lot of the concepts. And then, last but not least, all I need to do is honestly take away some type of seam streak or skinny post. And the way that I can do that is I have two options. I could either take this safety right here and I could put him in a deep half to the right. Notice how that looks. Or I could put him in a middle third. So you see I've got all these different adjustments. I can create a really unique little cover three cloud style of coverage. And then I've got this five yard hook curl uh, defender here, five yard vert hook uh, to the right. And then I can kind of user myself on this backside. If I wanted to bluff blitz somebody on the defensive line, I certainly could do that. Um, and then what I would recommend doing at this point is going ahead and run committing. The reason why is if they run the ball, you'll be able to stop the run. And if they pass the ball, you're going to notice right here that even if they pass this, this ball, um, they're not going to be able to get anything. As you can see here, I'm not going to actually run commit. And then this this, this coverage is incredible. Um, it really does limit a lot of what people can do uh, from this dollar three two six package. And so, the cool part about dollar, in my opinion, what makes dollar so effective this year? Number one, it's in the forty six playbook, right? So you have the nickel three three five wide, and you have the um, and you have the nickel three three five, and you have all of the four six bear defenses, right? So that's one major advantage. The second major advantage to the dollar package and why I think it is so effective in this year's game is because you have the run commit glitch where you're able to stop the run. You're able to run commit whenever you only blitz three people. And then the third and more, uh, and, or the third reason why it's got great pressure. Uh, we have phenomenal five man, six man pressures uh, that we can consistently do out of this dollar package. 
But then the fourth one is these all these different packages um, that you can access. And really, the alignment of this defense, I think, is really, really effective. So let me show you another package, for example. You'll see here that if I scroll through, I can get to this package where I have the cornerback strong to the right, for example. And let me just show you some of the adjustments that I can create. So you'll see right here, now these guys right here, look at this. I could put these I could put these corners in uh, inside thirds okay and to me that is really 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 cool so I could put these slot cornerbacks uh, into inside thirds let me show it one more time here um, let me get back over on this guy here right and as you can see I can inside third so the beauty of this is that it gives you different adjustments with different packages that you can create at a dollar and I'm telling you right now the really big thing if you go back and watch a lot of the MCS games you're going to notice that the big weakness to any kind of dollar uh, style of defense is that you're in a cover two base. That's the biggest thing um, to me that makes it weak is they're in, they're in cover two base coverages, right? But when you can put those outside thirds on the field, it just makes all the difference in the world. So again, the package that I like to come out in um, is this safeties package. And let me show you one last thing here. And that's what this outside third can do for you. So uh, if I were to come over here, you're going to notice if I baseline and press, um, as you can see over here, I could put this guy into a middle third. I could put him into an outside third, right? I like to put him in a middle third um, or an outside third. It's up to you. But then I can take these guys outside third, outside third. Okay. So you see, this is what the coverage looks like. Then I can create kind of these, um, a Mabel to that side. And then over here, I could kind of use her the running back if I wanted to. But what I really want to show you is this. This route to Johnson, a lot of people will try to use this to bomb cover two. What you're going to notice, though, is because I have an outside third to the right, that outside third is going to get over there, and he's going to pick that off every single time. To me, that is the secret sauce of this defense and why it is so effective is that we can still get the benefit of having those 30-yard clouds from those outside corners that have great leverage. They're going to be able to stop crossing routes. They're going to be able to stop corner routes. But then you have those outside third zones that don't get don't get bombed. Um, they don't get bombed really against anything this year at this point because of the patches that have happened. So I would really encourage you, if you enjoyed this video, try this concept out in your own defense. And if you want to learn more about the dollar three two six, I have a full ebook on it in my Patreon membership. You can join the Patreon by clicking the link in the description below. And by joining the Patreon for just ten bucks a month, you're going to get instant access to all of my Madden twenty two ebooks. I have thirteen ebooks in the membership as it sits right now. Several other exclusive tips and much much more content. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to take your Madden game to the next level, be sure to check out that Patreon. Just head on down to the description and click that link down below.